It's about time someone flushes this toilet. What's up, fiends? Alucard here. We start off our journey through the cinema of David Heavener with his first foray into the movie business. Today, we are talking 1985's Massacre, a.k.a. The Border of Tong, a.k.a. Chinatown Connection. This is the only film made by sextuple threat Michael Chu. The six positions he held in this movie were cameraman, director of photography, editor, producer, writer, and director. It stars David Hevener, Daniel Tang, and Wee Ling Lee. The DVD I have is from DML, Digital Media Limited. We start off with a long, the people and events are fictitious spiel, even though the film is loosely based on the real life 1983 Wami massacre that occurred in Seattle's Chinatown, where a gambling hall was robbed and 13 people were killed. So that's your setup of the movie, except here is 12 people. We meet Joe Wong, played by Daniel Tang, who escaped the massacre with the money and a book implicating a crooked city councilman. He flees to Calgary, where David Hevener, playing Inspector Randy Walker, is in hot pursuit. Oh, and there's also a Chinese mob hitman after Joe as well. I know this seems like a formula that would work, but it just doesn't. The movie seems to move in slow motion. The action sequences are even slow. Uh, half the cast is dubbed into English, and even the dubbers are pretty horrible. There's no urgency or, or feeling at all from just about everybody in this movie. Minus David Hevener, there is no charisma at all. And Joe is the plainest, most boring lead I think I've ever seen in a movie. He's not even likable. The, the script is, is asinine. Walker just kind of falls into things. I don't think he actually figures out anything. <laughs> it all just kind of lands right in his lap. There is a funny line, though, where he's with his chief, and his chief even calls him a supposed-to-be savvy cop. thought that was pretty funny. All right, so is there anything redeeming here? Well, honestly, the best parts are the David Havner scenes. I'm not going to lie. They're the only scenes that are watchable, really. Um, you can tell he doesn't have a whole lot of acting experience here, but his charisma definitely shines through. When we meet him in this movie, he just kind of broods and smokes his way through crime scenes. You know, he has this, like, sweet-ass mullet, you know, the tight jeans, a bomber jacket, and he sits backwards on chairs, kind of like A.C. Slater. And this movie also takes place at Christmas time. And this was made before Die Hard and Lethal Weapon. So eat your heart out. There are some quotable lines here. Um, there's one where Walker's talking to his chief and he goes, So now I understand. Politics overrides justice and mass murder. This, his delivery is great. I love it. And there's a, a pretty hilarious scene at a, at a Chinese restaurant harboring a whorehouse. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? What do you want? Got a menu? There. Got any chicken fried rice? No. How about chicken chow mein? Chicken noodles? Chicken McNuggets? You got a Coke? Yeah. Okay, give me a Coke. Say, what kind of food do you serve around here anyway? Hey, man, garls, garls. Garls. What the hell is a garls? Vietnamese. It's best so cheap. Huh. Cheap. Well, good. Give me a garls special and a small Coke. What's the matter? You got a problem with that? Hey, man, two. Two. Oh, two dollars. Two hundred. What? Two hundred dollars for garls? What the hell kind of food do you serve? Overall, this is a tedious, wasted effort despite the few highlights. The only redeeming quality is that this movie got David Heavener into the film business. Now, the story 
at least the way I heard it, is that David Heverner actually went to the studio to try to sell them some songs, and a producer noticed his chiseled good looks and asked him if he could act. The rest is history. Don't know how true that is, but that's what I heard. So I'll give Massacre a one and a half bats out of five. It's not very good at all. I would really say this is only for massive fans of David Heavener, even though he's not even really the lead. And if you follow his ministry, I would definitely like to know what you think of this movie. Until next time, remember to stay spooky. Peace.